In the field of women's imaging, the role of radiologists is completely different from what the role of radiologists in general uh, is. Radiologists in general sat in a dark office and reviewed images from uh, different uh, imaging modalities. They would look at CAT scans, they would look at x-rays, and they would never speak with the patient. In women's imaging, and particularly in mammography, uh, our role has changed dramatically so that a woman comes in and we are often the first physician to tell them that they have a problem. Most women who come in and have what we call a screening mammogram, which is a routine exam, uh, the mammogram is normal and we, we're federally mandated to let the woman know in some fashion that she had a normal exam. But in those women who have an abnormal finding on mammography, we do additional uh, studies. And that could be anything from doing additional mammographic views to determine whether, in fact, what we see on the mammogram is truly abnormal. Um, or we may do, use other imaging modalities. We go to ultrasound often. That's really the most important secondary study if we find something on mammography. Ultrasound also has a role, though, beyond uh, just uh, identifying what an abnormality that we see on mammography is. And in fact, many of us, uh, certainly dedicated uh, breast imagers, often use ultrasound as a secondary screening exam in women who have dense breast tissue and that represents about 50 to 60 percent of all women. Mammography is done by a technologist and the images are interpreted by a radiologist. Ultrasound is done, general, in most offices it's done by a technologist, but, uh, and physicians do ultrasound as well, but it's very what we call operator dependent. The images are not often uh, reproducible and it's very, uh, it's the most difficult of the imaging studies to learn as a physician or even um, as a technologist, and it's the most difficult, therefore, to interpret. We can uh, create a lot of um, pseudo-lesions with ultrasound, and it requires um, a lot of expertise. But it's a wonderful imaging study that can identify breast cancers at a very early stage, meaning a very small size, and it can find many breast cancers that are not seen on mammography, even with digital mammography. Radiologists are playing a role not only in the detection of early breast cancers, but in uh, the detection of breast cancer at any stage. And there is a role that we play in women who present with locally advanced breast cancers. For women with locally advanced breast cancers, they're treated with chemotherapy up front. We describe that as neoadjuvant chemotherapy. And that enables them to have a lesser surgical procedure. They may be saved from a mastectomy and simply require a lumpectomy. After several rounds of chemotherapy, they return to the radiologist for a repeat MRI, which is the most sensitive exam to determine the response of the tumor to the chemotherapy and to see whether there's any residual uh, tumor or whether the woman is ready for surgery. Radiologists who are in women's imaging often develop a very long-term relationship with their patients, and we really are their, their doctors. We see them uh, every six months uh, for certainly the first two years, and in many cases we're seeing them every six months doing a different imaging study for many years to come.